Hi everybody, thanks so much for being here today. I am doing a shoulder session today. So this session is for people who maybe have uh, shoulder pathologies, uh, in him, him, inhibited shoulder mobility, um, or if you just want to increase your shoulder range and have better posture in your upper thoracic spine, um, this is a great class for you. And of course, really, it's good for anybody because we can all benefit from, from some shoulder work. I am going to be using a band. So if you have a TheraBand, grab it. If you don't, then feel free to use something like a strap or a belt. And if you don't have any of that, then don't worry, you'll still be able to do lots of the movements. So just put your strap slash band aside for now and bring yourself into your Z sit position. So I'm starting with my feet and legs over to the right side, sitting up tall to start, coming down onto your left forearm, exhale, folding yourself over. Just allow yourself to come through this really nice stretch, lengthening down that top side and flipping over other direction. Feeling yourself reaching through. Again, coming here. So we're coming through lateral flexion in this exercise where we fold your spine over to the side and really allowing it to fold over and then feeling that glorious stretch down the one side. And this allows the opening there by your ribs, which is connected to your uh, shoulder blades. And it's important for having this mobility through your ribs to improve your shoulder mobility. Flipping it over now. Sitting yourself up tall to start, coming down onto your right forearm this time. Pressing across. Really imagine you're trying to reach from the tips of your fingers here all the way down your side to your top butt cheek. And then coming over. Now if it is too much for you, depending on what's happening in your shoulders, if it's too much for you um, to come through the full range or too much to be bearing down here on this side, then come through whatever range feels good for you. So that might be that you can only reach over a little bit here that's totally fine. Just getting really aware in your body of what actually causes you um, discomfort or inhibitory movement and not being afraid to just kind of push things to the edge to see where the limit is and where you can work to improve. And then bring yourself up, pick up your band. Now I'm going to do some work um, seated, but you can do this also from standing. So I'm gonna turn this way so you can see me and come up onto my knees and we're gonna do some shoulder retraction and protraction with your scapulae. So extend your arms out in front, have a little bit of tension on the band, you don't need too much. And then you're gonna retract your scapulae behind you, squeezing your shoulder blades together, protract, bringing your arms forward, rounding through your spine. Retract, squeezing together, protract, coming forward. Now I want you to try to have this happening from your shoulder blades where you're really actively feeling that your shoulder blades are opening up here and then squeezing together behind you. And if you have limited range of mobility in your shoulders, this may feel difficult, but over time, as you practice it and retrain that path in your body, then you will be able to come through a more extensive range. Now the next time you come through your set, I want you to then find your neutral scapulae as I call them. So that's kind of halfway between and it feels like your shoulders are really strong and in their place. Take a really nice deep breath in there, exhale, feel your core engage. Inhale again and then this time as you exhale, opening out and resisting back in. So just coming through this controlled movement here. So we're keeping control front in your shoulders, not letting them elevate up to your ears. Feeling the work happening here as you open your arms out to the side and return. Now, depending on the tension of your band or if you aren't using a band, uh, you will be able to come through to different degrees in terms of how far out and in you come. 
but really just check in with the work and to make sure the work is happening from your shoulders right at the top. Shoulder blades squeeze together as you open up and then bring them back in. So we're letting you open up across the front of your chest here. This is good for your posture and for your thoracic spine. And of course we are working and mobilizing your shoulders. Last one here. And then take the band, you're gonna bring it up and you're gonna start with one hand holding it up and then the other hand is gonna come so that your palm faces in towards your face. And then you're going to imagine that you are pulling the band down and resisting it back up. And I want you to try to find this work happening from your lat in behind you. So keep going, your lat is the muscle that is right back here underneath your shoulder blade. And if you are used to doing a chin up or a pull up, then those are the muscles that you work, or if you think of working using the lat pull down at the gym, I want you to try to find that lat working. And this is a variation of the lat pull down exercise. So just thinking about activating from there and not just moving your arm up and down. Switch over on your next one, arm stays up, and then bend, pull, control, return. So have this sense of resistance pulling down, resistance going back. Now, if you don't have a band, just imagine that you are really activating pulling down at, and controlling release. You can even take your hand back here if it's available to you with your shoulder to pull, feel it as you pull down and then return. So there's this work here in your lat, serratus, ribs are coming together on your exhale. Make that your last one. And then just set your band down, have a little roll it over your shoulders, other direction. Very good, put your band to the side and then bring yourself around. We're gonna come down to lie flat on your back. So however you would like to come down to the mat, do that now. And then once you're down there flat, just find yourself in a comfortable position and take your hands to your ribs. Take a really nice deep breath in, feel your ribs expand, and then exhale and feel them come together. Do that again, feel them extend to the front, and to the sides, edge to the back, and then exhale and feel them come together. Keep breathing in here, getting this rib mobility and movement, and feeling that connection that you are able to make as your diaphragm expands and your ribs expand. Our ribs connect to the lats and serratus up into your scapulae, into your shoulder blades, and therefore into your shoulders. And so we wanna think about having your ribs be free and moving to their full extent when we think about your shoulder mobility. Now we're gonna connect your core. So you inhale, ribs expand. Exhale, draw your belly in as your ribs come together. Pelvic floor lifts, core engages. Keep doing that. Inhale, full space of your ribs. Exhale, core engages. Now notice as you start to focus more on your core, if there's anything that happens up in your shoulders slash thoracic spine. So we wanna try to keep all of that neutral and not caving forward or pressing out and really just allowing this mobility to happen with your ribs expanding and then coming together. Let's do that one more time. Really checking in with your deep core connection and then exhale. From there, take your hands behind and support your neck. Now we're gonna continue on with some core work coming through your upper abdominal lift. So on your exhale, lifting up and coming back down. Exhale, draw your belly in, core engages, upper abdominal lift. Now the connection to this when we think about your shoulders is that we are actually flexing through your thoracic spine. That's the part of your spine right between your shoulder blades. And we are mobilizing and moving through your spine there. So when we do that and we have that mobility there, then it allows your shoulders to also become more mobilized and not be so jammed up and that helps with 
moving your arms and being out of pain in your shoulders. Exhale, feel your belly button come in, ribs come together, belly button and ribs come closer together. Stay in this with me, exhale. By now you're probably feeling it up here in your abdominals. That's good, that's what we want. Let's go for five. Let your head rest into your hands, four. Three, two, last one. And then bringing it down, stay there flat on the floor for a little bit. You're gonna press one leg out. Exhale, draw your heel back in. Other leg, inhale, press. Exhale, pull it in. So think about keeping everything in the exact same place in your center. And you're now getting some hamstring and glute activation as you pull your heel toward your sits bone. Now this is starting to mobilize your lower abdominals. And then we're gonna add your upper abdominal work back in that we just did a second ago. Stay connected to your breath. And on this next one, you're going to lift up, pressing out and then come down as you pull back in. So connecting these two movements together now, still noticing the work happening that your ribs are coming together, feel your breath working, core engaging. Now if this becomes too much to have this all connected together, then feel free to go back to the upper abdominal lift or stay with just the legs. We're trying to coordinate and connect many things in your body here. And when we think about your shoulders, it kind of looks like this isn't much work for your shoulders, but what we're actually doing is doing work for your deep core. And when we can have your deep core controlled, then we allow you to have better posture. That improves your shoulder function and mobility and helps you improve your, uh, or get you out of any pain that you might be in, in your upper back. Last one here. And then coming down, just hug your knees in, have a little pause there for a second, just gently rocking side to side. And then pick up your band, taking it into your hands again, just like we did when you were um, seated, and you're gonna extend it up. And then from there, come through the retraction and protraction again. So protract, feel like you round up, pressing your hands forward towards the ceiling, and then retract, shoulder blades squeeze underneath. So it might feel a little bit different to do it here uh, on the mat because you have feedback underneath of you. And depending on your body and your shoulders and um, your breath and rib connection, it may feel better to do it here or better sitting up. Doesn't matter, just get aware of what's happening and get involved in making this movement happen. And then come to that neutral positioning where you feel your shoulders working underneath of you, adding a little bit of tension on the band, pressing up overhead, and then coming back over your chest. Now, if your shoulder mobility, is your range is not such that you can come through this full degree of movement, totally fine come through whatever feels good for you. Regardless of the range of movement, be aware of what your ribs are doing. Keep them in control from your breath and your deep core work so that they don't just flare out to the ceiling as your arms come up. Right now we're trying to keep all of that in control. And in a second, we're gonna let your ribs move a little bit more. But for now, just be really mindful of how we're working your shoulders and it's like your arms are just hinging there on your shoulders. Last one here. And then leave your arms, actually bring them down. We're gonna do a little bit of bridge work and then we're gonna connect your arms to it. So let's get into your bridge first. So what I want you to do is posterior to your pelvis, that's where you imprint your spine underneath articulate your way up into your bridge and then articulate your way back down. 
Now just come through a few of those so that you can really feel this lovely articulation through your spine. Noticing when you come up that your short, or sorry, when you come back down, that the first part that comes down is up between your shoulder blades. So we're trying to get the mobility and the flexion in through your entire spine, like you're a sticker peeling off and then sticking back on. Now I keep looking at the screen, but ideally you are doing this just looking up at the ceiling to keep your head and neck in alignment with the rest of your spine. Now keep going as you are, or if you're ready and you would like, we're gonna add the spine or the shoulder work with it. So arms start here overhead, and then you articulate your way up, sending your arms up overhead as you come up, and then articulating your way back down. Now as we do this, we're starting to connect shoulder movement to body movement, and when you think about your day-to-day -day life, most of the time your shoulders aren't moving in isolation, you're doing it while there's another part of your body moving. So that's what we're helping you achieve here, is to have this shoulder mobility as you move through in another part of your body with articulation, core work, breathing, exhale, coming up, always so much to think about and concentrate on when we do Pilates. Very good, make that your last one, finishing there. Just take your arms to one side or to the sides and drop your knees to one side, shift your gaze to the other. Allow yourself to come through this lovely little twist. And then other side. So just allowing that rotation of your spine now. We move our spine moves in four directions: flexion, extension, lateral flexion, and rotation. And so we've done uh, rotation and fl lateral flexion today and a bit of uh, flexion. And then we're gonna do a little, little bit of extension now. So what I want you to do this time is I want you to extend your arms up overhead and then press them back and allow your ribs to really open up towards the ceiling. And then bring them down as your arms come up. So you are essentially coming back into uh, and retracting your scapula, like squeezing them together and pressing your ribs towards the ceiling. And then coming up and protracting and drawing your ribs in together. So to connect this with your breath, it's an inhale to come back. Press your ribs open, feel that squeeze and get up your shoulder blades, spine is arching. Exhale, draw your belly in, rounding underneath. Now, if this doesn't feel good for you, go back to the previous version. So we're starting now to incorporate a lot of spinal movement with your shoulder mobility. And depending on where you are in your body or with your shoulder pathology, it may or may not feel good for you. Doesn't matter, listen to your body. Feel this opening of your ribs, feel how your shoulder blades are squeezing together, pull them down away from your ears. And then coming back. Let's do one more there. And then from the top, bring your band and you can put it down over to the side. And then we're gonna extend your arms back up again. This time we're gonna come in opposite directions. So just send one arm up overhead, one arm down, and then bring them back to the center and alternate. Now I want you to keep a neutral spine and pelvis here for this, so no more rib flaring. But still find your connection to your breath. Opening up on your inhale through your ribs, and then exhale, drawing your belly in, bringing them together. So once you feel your core connection here happening with your arm and shoulder movement, and then we're gonna add legs. So it's opposite leg that comes out with the arm that comes up, and then bringing them back to the center. So the arm that's going away from you up towards the overhead, if that opposite leg is coming out at that same time, pressing down, and then coming back in. 
Now this of course is all with your core connected, allowing your center to stay undisturbed. So notice if there's anything that wants to happen in terms of your ribs flaring out or your back arching or pressing down to the mat. Just being really aware of any of that. Now if this feels okay for you and you want to make it more challenging on your core, then the next time you're back in the center on your exhale, lift your legs up to tabletop. Same thing now, but your arms are pressing or when they press away from each other, they're hovering off and the other arms and legs stay stationary and then switching over. So these are just all different levels and variations of a similar exercise. And again, you listen to it in your body, find what works for you. This one is much stronger on your core. So just be aware if that's not feeling good and it's going into your lower back and come back to our previous version. Let's do one more on either side of whatever variation you're choosing. And then bring your legs in, hugging your knees in towards your chest, gently rocking them side to side. From there, you're gonna roll over onto one side now, if you have any shoulder issues, shoulder bursitis, that kind of thing that makes it difficult for you to be on your side, then check in and see if this exercise works for you. And if it doesn't, then just skip it. Um, or you, have, you can put a pillow underneath your head here and that's gonna take some weight off this bottom shoulder. So what I want you to do is stack your shoulders together and your knees together at 90 degrees. And we're doing this for thoracic opening. So I want you to think about that you are, that you are um, squeezing your shoulder blades together and behind and rotating through your thoracic spine. So come with me now. Inhale, arm comes up overhead. Exhale, rotate your chest towards the ceiling. Arm opens out behind you. Now I have the wall here, but you would keep your arms straight as you open up. Chest rotates, knees stay in the same spot and then bring yourself back around and arm comes down. Again, inhale, open up, exhale. Imagine you're trying to present your chest up to the ceiling, rotating through your thoracic spine behind you and then returning. So you should really be feeling this hopefully in the part of your spine that is between your shoulder blades. Let's do one more here. And then returning. And then from there, bring yourself around. We're gonna come onto your stomach and do some thoracic extension. So basically this is where you are bending backwards through your back and we want it to be in the part of your spine that is between your shoulder blades. So not down here in your lower back or in your butt or by your tailbone, right up here at the top. And this requires that rib connection and that serratus and lat work like we started with at the beginning. So you can watch me and then you're gonna end up facing the floor. So after I do it and you see it, you can face the floor and begin. Take your forehead down the floor, hands are in line with your nose. On your inhale, open up your ribs as you bring yourself up, pressing your palms down and pulling them towards your ribs. Exhale, core is engaged for the stability and then bring yourself back down. So come through this in your own body, inhale, Lifting up. Now your ribs end up opening and that lets you come through your thoracic spine and really get that space and that decompression. Exhale, core engages to support you as you come down. So think about as you keep doing this that you're pulling your hands towards your rib cage, which is working through your triceps and into your lats and really allowing for that space and opening there which is going to help with your shoulders because we are strengthening the surrounding structures. Let's come through one more. And if you can't get up very high, it doesn't matter. We're just trying to come through the 
this range of mobility and get these muscles turned on and working. Very good. Press back into your child's pose from there just to give a lovely counter stretch there. And then we're going to come through some thread the needle. Now, depending on how your shoulders are, uh, it might be not good for you to be down onto your palms. If that's the case, then I will show you in the second, in a second, a variation that you can do. Otherwise, palms down, knees down, arm comes out to the side, and then exhale as you rotate underneath. Now you can, if it feels better for you, bring yourself right down here and have a lovely pec, uh, lovely um, thoracic rotation from here. Opening out to the side. If it doesn't feel good for you to be down here on your palm, then feel free to do it from here where you're just rotating through, opening out. So we're trying to get that thoracic rotation like you are really almost hugging around yourself. And of course, connecting with your breath, finding the deep core work. there and we're going to flip around and do it on the other side. So setup is the same, options are the same. Open out to the side, exhale, rotate underneath. Feel that really nice thoracic rotation. Again, you choose the variation that works for you. You can do it from standing, sitting, kneeling, here on your palm. You can, even if it's better for you, just come down here and rest down here, opening up and just staying low. Doesn't matter, whatever feels good in your body for this rotation. Last one here. And then place your palm down, pressing back again into your child's pose. Letting your spine really release, bring your shoulders down away from your ears. Just take a nice breath here. And then coming around now, setting yourself up for your chest opener on the other side. Again, options are the same. So be, you can be have your hand underneath here, you can have a pillow here, you can have both arms out, whatever feels good for you in your body. We're just trying to get that thoracic work happening again. So inhale, ribs expand. Exhale, rotate around. Feel this sense of twisting your ribs around behind you through your thoracic spine, rotating and then bringing it back to the center. Inhale, open. Exhale, of course you're keeping your arms straight because you don't have a wall there like me. So keep it straight, it's gonna open up behind you. back through. Let's do one more there. Reset yourself in the middle if you need to. Really nice big breath. Ribs expand. Exhale. Draw your belly in. Core works. Allow yourself to rotate open here. Present your chest to the ceiling. And then returning. Rolling over onto your back again. Pause there, take your hands to your ribs, and breathe in, and then exhale. So coming back now to this rib connection, this opening through your ribs into your, um, and using your core, and really allowing this space to be created as you expand through your diaphragm, and decompress through your spine. Stay here with me for a few breaths. Just allow your body and mind to connect. Allow yourself to notice and scan through your body how you feel, what is happening. Allow yourself to notice how your shoulders feel. If you showed up here because of something going on in your shoulders, how do they feel now? 
Give yourself permission to get curious about what is happening in your body. Not judgmentally, but just with curiosity and awareness. And most importantly, allow yourself to acknowledge the work you're doing in your body and the movement you are facilitating. To allow yourself to be the best in your body that you can be. Bring your hands now behind your hamstrings, coming up to a seated position. From this position, again, breathing in, arms come up. Exhale, press them down. Again, breathing in, opening. Exhale. Plant them down on the floor this time. Squeeze shoulder blades together behind you, opening up across the front of your chest. And then releasing, bring your hands together in the front. Take another deep breath in, smile, give yourself a high five, pat on the back because you showed up to do this work. To get into your body and take on some movement to help you be your best. Well done for doing that and committing to do that. Thank you so much for choosing to do it with me. And I can't wait to see you again next time.